So we've heard that argument for a long time that like modelers or profiles just don't sound like the real thing. And to a certain extent, sure, totally. I went to a guitar store recently and played through like a 10 watt Supro Delta King. Uh, and that was a whole different experience. Not really better, not really worse than, you know, having to rely on my monitors and my fractal going into my monitors. It really depends on your needs, honestly. Like for just playing around the house, like in a room like this one, I would sometimes actually prefer a real amp. But as soon as it gets to like recording or anything like that, or especially playing live, uh, I'll go with the fractal. And granted, the fractal has some issues with live playing. Like uh, sometimes if you dial something in super quiet and you play it really loud, you know, the tone changes. There might be more bass, there might be more highs or something like that. But none of these problems are only fractal or model or whatever related and they don't go away when you use an amp. In any case, where I'm going with this is that although I still like using the Fractal for educational purposes, like I don't really have an access to Morgan AC20 amps here and you know I can get a good idea of what they sound like in the Fractal, I need to understand that like this thing sounds like it <laughs> and it might not be a good representation of the real thing. That's especially apparently the case with Dumble amps. Even in the list of amp models in the FM3, which is taken from Yek's guide to the FM3, uh, he says that he has a Dumble amp, uh, but it doesn't sound like it does in the FM3. They just sound really good and different. Me personally, I never really liked a lot of the Dumble IRs. I would, you know, I would use the model and go like, oh, this is this is that amp, this is that big thing, oh my god. And I would be like, yeah, it sounds good. It was hardly ever like mind blowing, which, you know, given all the hype, you'd think you'd want it, like, even if it's a model of it, like, mine slightly blown. And then I remembered something Satriani said when he was recording his last album, and he used, like, a Sans amp for a lot of it, uh, which is, like, a lot of the digital stuff actually sounds really good, it just doesn't sound like exactly what you'd think it sound like. I like that perspective, because it really just makes room for everything. Like, if you like it, just use it. <laughs> curious about Dumbles for the 80 billionth time and was trying to build a preset based around that amp and I was like yeah these IRs the cabinets are not really doing it for me like and then <laughs> I was building it on top of my twin tweed preset which I love a lot and there was one scene where I didn't you know switch the IRs I didn't switch the cabs and it was just a mistake but I actually really liked that sound and so normally I would be like oops I've used the wrong cab oop you know eh. But in this scenario, it was like, all right, you know, let's just run with it. Let's just give this a shot, see where it takes me. After working out all the scenes and everything, it actually has a nice sound, like it, uh, certainly an interesting sound. It basically almost feels sort of like the Tweed Twin-ish, but then like maybe a different EQ or something. <laughs> Thank you. 
wanted to make this available for a free download because I also wanted to see what other people thought. Like if they were like, oh, it's too bassy, oh, it's too one thing or the other, uh, it doesn't feel right under my fingers, you know. I wanted to see if it was worthwhile going like, yeah, you know, if you have a cab that you accidentally put on the wrong amp and it sounds great, kind of just go with it, like whatever. While I would suggest being open to happy accidents like I was with this preset, I would suggest against being like, well then everything can go with anything because there's, you know, say there's like 400 IRs and 400 amps, like the list of permutations, like you'll be testing amps and cabs for the, you know, into the year 3000. Because don't forget, even after you've paired every single amp with every single IR, you have to try them on single coils and then humbuckers and then et cetera, et cetera. So if you have the FM3 or FM9, the download link is in the description for the preset. Please give it a shot, let me know what you think. And if you don't have one of those, just let me know what you thought of the playing examples, I guess. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and checking out the Patreon link in the description. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next week.